Okay, in my last video, I went over the Nikon PB4 bellows. One thing I forgot to mention is on the front here, uh, you'll notice a little hole and a locking knob. You know, as I told you before, all the locking knobs are on the right side. And that's for a slide copy attachment. It's slid in here, you tighten it down, and you can copy slides. I have the slide copy attachment, the PS4. Uh, I no, no need to use it for copying slides. I do that in another method using the Nikon ES2 digitizer. However, uh, I took it apart trying to make something of it. Long story, but I broke it, so no big deal. We know from my last video that this bellows has a Nikon F bayonet mount for Nikon F lenses, Nikon F mount lenses. However, I mentioned that you could adapt lots of other lenses. So that's what we're going to talk about today. There are adapters available to mount M39 Leica mount screw thread lenses. And many enlarging lenses are that M39 screw mount. So I have here an L Nikkor 5.6 135 millimeter enlarging lens. It's uh, to cover 4x5 film. Okay. Enlarging lenses are great for macro photography because they're flat field. They were designed to project an image from a flat negative onto a flat piece of paper for enlarging. So they are great. So I just screwed in the adapter. These adapters, these uh, Leica screw thread adapters to Nikon F bayonet mount, were not available in the United States. I could not find them anywhere. This was several years ago. So I found them in China. I ordered, ordered uh, one of them from China. It was very inexpensive. Just took forever to get here. All right, so I threaded the lens into the adapter. Now I'm going to, uh, there is a little red dot here. I'm going to line that up. All right, let's start to unthread a little. There we go. So what is the advantage of using the enlarging lens? Well, one, they're good for close-up photography because they are flat field. Another is, actually you have a greater focusing range. With the bayonet mount lenses, the Nikon F bayonet mount lenses that have focusing mounts, um, you could really only use the bellows for close-up photography or macro photography, you know, get them really close. With this lens, you could focus a great distance. You know, I'm not sure if you could get to infinity with it, but you can use it at pretty good distance. I experimented with it in my house and I was able to shoot 20, 30, 40 feet away. What that gives you is a greater focusing range. Okay, you don't have to just use them for macro or close-up photography. Okay, so that's one thing. I'm gonna leave that mounted and just unscrew this. But there are a ton of enlarging lenses out there. And it only takes a while to unscrew that. All right, so what else do I have here? Okay, I have a, this was a rangefinder lens. I think it was for a, a Russian, a Russian camera. It's a 55 millimeter 2.8. It does have a focus mount. It, you can, does have an independent focus. This was, this was, this lens was for a Leica type screw thread rangefinders. But, and I have an adapter to use this on my Nikon Z camera, but I could also use it on the bellows. And these lenses are very expensive. I'm not sure, it's in Russian. I am not sure. I forget what this is. Uh, it has stops from 2.8 to 16. Yeah, I'm not sure what it is. All right. Also, I have a Rodenstock Roganar S enlarging lens. 
it is a 150 millimeter lens. However, it does not have the Leica thread. All right, so I'm not sure what that thread is. Someone gave this lens to me years ago. So let me take this adapter off. But I could still use this because it has 52 millimeter front thread. All right, so let me find my... All right, let me get the reverse adapter here. I got so many adapters for different things, so many adapters to adapt to the Z cameras. All right, so it has, like I said, it has 52 millimeter front threads. All I have to do is screw in the BR2 adapter. Okay, and now in reverse, I could use this 150 millimeter lens. Also, I have an adapter. It's called an M42 to Nikon, Nikon F mount. All right, and you could take a, here's a 55 millimeter 2.0 Takamar. I could just screw this lens in to the adapter. All right. It just takes a while to screw this in. And then there's a red dot on the back. Line that up with the white dot on the... Okay. And we're in. There's a lot of experimenting you can do with these lenses. There's just so many screw thread lenses, Leica thread lenses, uh, enlarging lenses that are available. And you could pick them up pretty cheap. And you could just play around with them and see. You might find something that really works well. Now, another thing you can do and I don't have one here, but there is an adapter to go from Pentax 6x7 lenses to Nikon bayonet. So you could use them on this. Using one of those medium format lenses, such as a lens for the Pentax 6x7, that gives you a much larger image circle and you could make full use of the shift and swing that this bellows provides. Now, also, I had an old projection lens. It was from a Bell & Hale um, cube slide projector from the early 70s. I also had an old beat up Nikon macro lens that was destroyed. I, I bought it in a lot with some other things and it was must have been sitting in water for a time. The aperture was destroyed. So I took off the mount, the Nikon bayonet mount, and I epoxied in this lens and I'm not sure what the focal length is, but not the sharpest lens in the world. Okay, and there you go. So I have another lens to experiment with. One of the things I really like about mirrorless cameras is the ability to use so many different lenses. You know, the old manual focus lenses. Minolta, Canon, Pentax. Uh, Olympus. I, I have adapters to use all those lenses and just, you know, play around with them, experiment. Sometimes you can pick them up really cheap. So that's another nice thing with the bellows is that you can adapt so many different types of lenses. I, I believe there's an adapter to use Hasselblad lenses and I'm sure many others. Okay, so that's it for part two on the Nikon PB4 bellows. If you didn't see the first one, just I'll put a link in the description below which goes over all the features and gives you a lot of information on the PB4. You, these are still available. I've seen them on eBay in the $150 range. A lot of times they come with the slide copy attachment and some other accessories. So uh, I, they were extremely well made and very pleased with the results that I get using this bellows. Okay, so thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I come out with a new video every Wednesday morning and now Monday mornings at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. I will talk to you next time.